Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students. Well, 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 welcome to Matibay class. Oh, diba? Anak. Ang bilis, module 3 na tayo agad. At pagkatapos ng module 4, exam. Exam, <laughs> exam 9 days. Magpapakwiz pa tayo tas Ay, exam. Ay, magpapakwiz pa ba? Ayan. Okay. And module 3, module 3 na, fraction, and napakadali pa rin ang topic yes, natin. Yes, and decimal pa rin naman. Yes, expressing fractions to decimals and percent forms and vice versa. Na, yung, uh, yung ipupunta na natin ang fraction to decimal, to, decimal, to percent dyan, and vice versa. Ayan. Yes, we have lots of techniques. Okay? At ipapakita natin yan sa ating mga anak. Siyempre, ayaw natin silang mahirap. Yes. Objective. Our two objectives are, Ayan, first of course, is express fractions to decimals and percent forms and vice versa. Sa wakas, tumama din yung objectives. <laughs> <laughs> Second, illustrate how decimals and fractions can be written in terms of percentage. percentage. Okay. So, let's start with changing fractions to decimals. Ayan. Okay. So, we, we, uh, to change fractions to decimals, all you have to do is to what? Okay? Means that the numerator is to be divided by the denominator. Diba? Sabi ko nga uh, kanina, ma'am. Sabi ko nga kanina, ma'am, binabasa rin yung fraction, pwede rin siyang maging division. Okay? Yes. So, ang gagawin mo lang ay i-divide uh, ang numerator sa kanyang denominator. denominator. Yun yung first natin. Second is changing decimal to fraction naman. Ayan, baliktad natin. When a decimal fraction is written in a common fraction form, the decimal fraction without the decimal point is used as the numerator and the denominator is one with as many zeros annexed as, as there are decimal places in the original decimal fraction. The common fraction is reduced to its lowest term. You know what, Ma'am Tintin? Medyo mahirap lang yung kanyang mga Explanation. terms. Pero napakadali Pagpakita. yan kapag pinapakita na natin yes. mamaya. So, okay. so ipapakita so, natin shortcut niyan later on. Relax, relax, relax yes. lang mga anak. Okay? <laughs> Kami bahala sa inyo. Ayan, hindi natin napalitan. Sorry. Oo, syempre. Next, letter C. Changing percent to fraction. fraction. Okay, to express percent as a fraction in its lowest term, all you have to do is to convert frac I percent in its fractional form first and perform the operation of division of proper, proper fraction. fraction. Pakikitaan natin sila dyan ng teknik yes. dyan mamaya. Mamaya, pag binabasa nyo parang sabi ni mamang basic-basic, pero ang hirap na maintindihan. Uh, pero dali lang Explain yan. natin yan later on. Letter D, changing percent to decimal. The basic principle in converting percent to decimal is to move the decimal point two places to the left and drop the percent sign. sign. Okay, mm. madali din yan ma'am. Ipapakita natin yan mamaya maya lamang. Yes, okay. magmove-move ka lang dyan. Meron pa ba? Meron pa, ano yan? yan. Pa. Meron Letter E, eh. The changing decimals as percent, the fastest way to convert decimals to percent is to shift the decimal point two places to the right. So, ililipat mo lang, ma'am, yung decimal places niya, talawang beses to, to the, the right. right. Kanina, to the left, no? Mm -hmm. Ngayon, to the right. Meron pang pangalawa, i-multiply yes. mo siya ng 100. Uh -oh, okay. Yun yung lagi natin ginagawa. Uh -oh. Letter F. Pang 5 years mo na ito tinuturo. Pang 6 na pang ngayon. Pang 6. Pang 6 na pang ngayon. Five. Pang 5 years na ngayon. Hindi. Di ba nag-5 years na tayo? Ay, so pang 6. Uh -oh, mag-6 oh, na six 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 years. Years. Tagal na. Tagal na. Ang tanda na natin sa yupa. Hindi <laughs> mo masyado. <laughs> Letter F. Changing fractions as percent. In converting a fraction to percent, change the fraction to its decimal equivalent, then multiply the decimal equivalent by 100, or simply move the decimal point two places to the right and suffix the percent symbol. I stand to be corrected, ma'am. Yung letter I pala, uh -oh. i-divide mo ng 100. 100. Tapos yung... Sa letter F, i-multiply mo ng 100. Okay? Yun. Kung 6 years kung itinuturo yun, ma'am, ito ma'am, ikaw favorite mo ito, di ba? Ilang ah, taon mo na ito? <laughs> ngayon lang. Ah, ngayon lang. Kaya na i-excite ma'am din. Ano <laughs> na excite ako lalo kasi sabi ni Sir Jason, this is the easiest yes, mathematics subject. Oh, kaya sabi na ko nga, ma'am Pintin, kapag nalusutan nila yung yung gen yung math, math kaya at saka statistics and probability, okay, kaya kaya So, dami ba naman ang pindot nyo sa calculator <laughs> nung yung stat at gen math, dito pa kaya? Pero ma'am, during, ano, ano lang ha, uh, face face. trivia tayo, face, in the, I, will, uh, I will not allow my students to use calculator. Oo, oh, oh, kasi very basic, basic ito eh. Basic naman, ano oh, ko naman. Oh. Yung, ano, yung mag exam sila na walang hawak na calculator. Ang tanong ko sa'yo, mapipigilan mo kaya sila? Ang exam natin, hindi face to face. <laughs> Baka sabi nila, yes ma'am, pero tututututututu yung calculator nila sa bahay. Ayan, meron pa? Wala na. At ipakita na natin ang ating mga anak-bomanggahang examples! 
I don't allow them talaga. Okay, let's move on to our module number 3 na ito, no? Module number 3, fraction to decimal to the nearest tenth. So, depende po yung kanyang ibibigay na condition. Sa example natin, let's say we have, kukunin natin yung to the nearest tenth. So, we have 3 divided by 5 or 3 all over 5. Paano natin kukunin yon? Isulat muna natin siya as like this. We have 5. Tama po ba? Okay. So, since hindi mo pa siya pwedeng kunin, or hindi, or, paano ba yun sabihin? 3 divided by 5 is cannot be. Ayun, zero cannot siya. be. Zero siya. So, ilalagay natin siya siya dyan. Zero. Zero times 5 is? Zero. zero. So, ibababa natin 3. And, magdadagdag ka na. Since Oy, nearest na, tenths ang kinukuha natin, magdadagdag tayo ng zero dyan. So, kopyahin natin yung decimal sa taas. So, we have... Bring down mo muna, kapatid. Bring down 30. Yeah. Ilan ang makuku... Bring down 0, sorry. Ilan ang makukuha mong 5 sa so 30? Six. You have 6. Okay? So, we have 30. Since 0 na yan. Since 0 na yan, titigil ka na kasi wala na. Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin, ang makukuha mong decimal dyan, fraction to decimal ay 0 0.6. So, ang fraction ng... Ang decimal ng 3.5 ay 0 0.6. Okay? Clear tayo doon? Yes, clear. Number 2, we have 105 all over 32. Okay, so represent natin siya 105 as... 105 muna. 105, yeah, 105 divided by... Divided by... Yan. 32. Okay, ilang 32 ang makukuha mo sa 105? 3. We have 3. 3 times 32 is... 96. 96. 105 minus 96 is... 9. 9. Okay. Since... Nearest tenths ang hinahanap ulit, magdadagdag ka ng zero, lagay mo yung point dyan, kopihin mo sa taas. Bring down zero. Bring down zero. Ilang 32 ang makukuha mo sa 90? Two. Dalawa. So, two times 34? 64. 64. Subtraction, makukuha mong sagot dyan ay? 26. 26. Nearest tenth pa ulit, isa pang zero dyan. So, Kasi bring down yeah. zero. 32, ilan makukuha mong 32 sa 260? Eight. Eight. At ang 8 ay? 256. Ayan, 256 minus mo yan, meron kang makukuhang 4. Okay, okay nine, since distance. nearest tenths ang pinag-uusapan, meron kang 3 point, since 8 yan, mag-add ka ng 1. Hmm. So, magka, magkakaroon ka ng 3.3. .3. Ang sagot natin sa decimal ng 105 all over 32 ay 3.3. Again, our decimal number to the nearest tenths of 105 and 32 is 3.3. Okay. 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 Ma'am Tintin, paano naman kung decimal to fraction? Okay, in decimal and fraction, dapat alam mo kung paano siya basahin. Yes. Babasahin mo siya, then isusulat mo, then we will simplify. Okay, isusulat okay, mo siya kung paano mo Paano mo siya basahin ito? 1 and 16 hundreds. hundreds. Bakit hundreds? Tenths hundreds. and hundreds. So, isusulat na natin, 1 and 16 hundreds. hundreds. Maliwanag na maliwanag. Okay? This is a mixed number, a combination of whole number and proper, proper fraction. fraction. My question is, pwede pa bang simplify ang proper fraction? Yes. yes, pwede. Mas madaling paraan, hatiin muna natin sila. So, pwede yan, magiging 1 and 8. All over 50. 50. Pwede pa ba? Yes. Yes. Pwede pa rin siyang maging 1 and 4, four all over 25. 25. If you take a look into 4 all over 25, hindi na siya pwedeng masimplify. That's why the decimal and the fraction of 1.16 is 1 and, and 4, four all over 25. Nakakasunod mong tintin? Yes. Okay. Next, we have 12 and 5 hundreds because tens hundred so meron tayong 12 and, and 5 100 yeah. okay can we still simplify our proper fraction yes, yes. that is equal to 12 and, and 12 1 all over, over 20. 20 okay final answer. answer okay how about this one babasahin natin siya as 8 tenths or 8 0 0.8 tenths all okay. over 10 mm. Okay, we can simplify this by dividing, uh, dividing by both sides, uh, the numerator and denominator by 2. So, 8 divided by 2, it will become 4. four. Then, 10 divided by 2, it will become 5. five. As simple as, as that. that. Okay. Okay, let's proceed naman. 
in converting our percent to fraction. Okay, for number 1, we have 23%. So, i-divide lang natin siya into 100. Bakit po? Kasi nga, percent ang pinag-uusapan. Ang pinakamataas, ang kabuan is 100% lang. So, 100. So, we have 23 divided by 100. Can we still simplify 23 all over 100? Hindi na po, madam. Hindi na po. Therefore, this is already your final answer. Ang hirap. <laughs> Ito, mas challenging na unti. Ah, sige. Number 2, 12.35%. Again, i-divide mo siya into 100. So, we have 12.35 divided by 100. Now, question. May decimal point siya. Anong kailangan natin gawin? I-move to the right. Gagawin mo lang siyang number. whole number. Paano? I-move mo siya to the right. Since nag-move ka ng dalawang beses sa taas, dapat dito mag-move din tayo ng dalawang beses. Mm. So, ibig sabihin, meron ka na nga yung 12, 35, all over, magdadagdag ka lang ng dalawang zero. zero. 100, another dalawang zero. Next, can we still simplify? Yes. They are both yes, divisible by because 5. Because they are both divisible by 5. So, 12, 35 divided by 5 is, pahirampong calculator, 12, 35 divided by 5 is, Yan, 247. All over, 10,000 divided by 5 is? 2,000. 2000. Can we still simplify? Hindi Dahil na 7 na yan, hindi na po natin pwedeng simplify. This is already our final answer. answer. So, ganun lang po pasim kasimple. Again, you are just going to divide it by 100. At kapag decimal point siya, gagawin mo lang siyang whole number. Kung ilang beses kang nag-move sa taas, ganun din yung pagdagdag mo ng zero sa baba. Okay. Okay, let's have percent to decimals. Mm -hmm. Tintin, in percent to decimals, ito po yung process natin. Okay? Iba yung process natin kapag decimal number, iba rin yung process natin kapag Iba. fraction. Yes. Okay? Or mix, mix number. We have 5.15%. 5.15%. Okay, surat muna natin, ma'am. Tama? Yes. 5.15. Since percent yan, ang kabuuan ay... 100 dollars. 100. Okay? Gawin natin whole number sa taas. Okay, let's move it to the right. Right. Dalawang beses, kaya naging 5, 1, 5. Since dalawang beses, magdadagdag tayo sa baba ng dalawang, dalawang zero. beses. Okay, actually, pwede naman natin yan i-mano-mano. Long mano, method, yes. Pero, napaka-plastic mo naman kung hindi ka pa <laughs> ng calculator. So, pwede na natin gamitin ng calculator. 515 divided by 1. 10,000 by ma'am? Yes. 10,000. That is equal to... 0. 0. 0. 0.0515. So, percentage to decimal. So, 5.15% is also equal to 0. 0.0515. Yes. Nakakaintindi ma'am, Tintin? Yes po. Okay, next. Paano naman ma'am kung fraction? Kapag yeah. fraction naman, okay, ang ating Mix. pinakamadaling paraan is... 3 times 11. Oh, from mixed to improper. Okay. 3 times 11 magiging? 33. 33. Okay. Plus 2 magiging? 35. 35. Okay. Gagawin pa rin natin siyang? 35 all over 2. All over Ay, sorry, 3. sorry. 3 pala. Okay. Yang, yang, yang improper fraction na yan, i-divide no? natin kay? 100. 100. Okay. Since we are dividing fraction to whole number, magdadagdag tayo ng imaginary, imaginary one. 1. Okay, always yon. Since meron na tayong fraction divided by fraction, inside, cross inside. multiply or inside, inside, outside, outside, outside. Okay? Outside, outside, 35 times 1 is? 35. 35. Okay? 3 times 100 is? 300. 300. Then, pwede na natin siyang? I-calculator. I-calculator. 35 divided by? 300, that is equal to yan. Since ganyan ang lumabas na sagot mga anak, pwede ng uh, two depende digits right condition. after the decimal uh -huh. point. Or depende sa hindi condition. Pero yung common, two, two decimal. Okay, two digits right after the decimal point. So, we have now 0. 0.12. Ayan, 12. Yun. Tama? Yes. yes. Again, pwede nyo siyang i-calculator or Pwede rin naman yung imano-mano. Okay. okay. That is all about percent. Tapos na ba? Meron pa ba? Ay, meron pa pala. <laughs> and let's proceed to decimal 2%. Ito, isa sa pinakamadali kasi multiply mo lang siya into 100. Or, o oh, sige, multiply mo na natin siya sa 100. Times 100 is equal to 
15% or pwede mo naman ding i-move lang twice yung iyong yes. i-move mo lang twice kasi nga 100 so i-move mo lang ng twice you have 15% okay. ganun lang same true with this i-move mo lang siya ng twice so we have 2179% or ita times mo siya sa 100 parehas din yung magiging sagot 2179% Percent. Oh, may, may tanong ko, paano nga ma'am ma kung 3.579? Ayan, kapag 3.79, magmove ka ng dalawang beses, yung point magpupunta dyan. So, we have 3.57.9%. Okay. okay, that's it. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay, let's have last. fraction to percent last for module number 3. three. Yeah. Okay, we have the given mix number 2 and 7 over 9, ilalagay po natin siya sa percent. Yes. Okay, first thing to do is to convert that into improper, improper fraction. Yes. Okay, so to convert that into improper fraction, meron tayong 9 times 2 is equal to 18, 18 plus 7 equal to 25. 25. So we have now 25 all over 9. 9. Ngayon, yung improper fraction na yan, multiply natin kay 100. 100. Okay, gamitan na natin ang calculator mong tintin. So we have now... <clears throat> 25, 25 all over 9 times 100 that is equal to yeah. okay 277.78% percent. Percent. answer Nako ma'am yes last 1 times uh, 7 times 1 7 7 plus 3 10 10, 10 all all over 7, 7 times 100 using our calculator meron tayong 10 all over 7 times 100, our answer is 142.86% answer. Okay. That's all about module 3. Mag-aral lang mabuti uh -oh. mga anak. And Lahat. Ulitin. Yes, ulit-ulitin para makabisado mm -hmm. kasi medyo marami-rami yon. Sabi nga namin, hindi maging madali ang laban natin pero lahat tayo ay matibay kaya lahat ay ating kakayanin. Bye-bye!